Hi there, my name is Monica and I'm here to tell you about my summer. First, a little bit about myself. I'm a rising junior at Caltech, majoring in mechanical engineering. I play on the tennis and soccer teams and am one of the social chairmen of Fleming House, meaning that I help plan the social events that go on each weekend. This summer, I'm interning at Ball Aerospace in my hometown of Boulder, Colorado. This past fall, I was looking into the company, and then after they visited Caltech at the career fair, I applied to the positions and eventually got the internship. Caltech has two career fairs each year. One is in the fall and one is in the spring. These career fairs are great opportunities to get internships, jobs, lots of free stuff, and simply just wander around. For example, this past spring, I had already signed with Ball and walked around the booths and even ended up talking to the Marine Corps, so that was pretty interesting. Ball is an aerospace company that does a lot of government contracts. Most of the stuff we do is proprietary, which means that I can't really tell you about anything I do for my actual job, but what I can talk about is the BURST program. BURST stands for Ball Intern Rocket Scientist Team, and basically what it is is we have eight weeks to build a payload that ends up being put onto a rocket, which is built by interns from ULA, which stands for United Launch Alliance. I had a total of five payloads on two ULA rockets. The payload team that I was on built an autonomous car, or more like was supposed to build an autonomous car, and to do this, we split up into two teams, electronic and retention. So what the electronics team did was they bought a car from some commercial vendor and pretty much redid all the electronics. So we attached a GoPro to the back of the car so that it videotaped the car falling from the sky out of the rocket as well as driving back to the launch site. And so how does it drive back to the launch site? We had a GPS tracker with two sonar sensors sort of pointing off center on the front so that it could drive itself autonomously back to the launch site and use sonar to not run into things. And then if that didn't work, we had a backup plan which was to manually remote control the car and drive it back. And I had the idea of making a leash so that, you know, if our car crashed and burned and was in pieces, we could at least walk it back. But our mentors didn't really like that idea. And for our retention team, we were working with the payload tube, which is a cylindrical container that fits snug with the inside of the rocket and is what our payload sits in. And so we made a floor and weighted the bottom of it with sand so that when it fell onto the ground, it would be right side up. Additionally, using Kevlar and U-bolts secure the car into the payload tube so that, you know, it wouldn't fall out. And the Kevlar was held together by zip ties, which were threaded through cable cutters that were hooked up to an altimeter. So when, the, when we hit about 300 feet, the altimeter sent off a charge that, with the cable cutters, cut the zip ties so that the car would be able to drive out of the payload versus being stuck there for until we went and recovered it. So this whole experience taught me a lot about rockets and building payloads. First of all, rockets are super cool and I can now consider myself a rocket scientist, which is also pretty cool. But also the difficulties in building a payload that will actually succeed <laughs> because each component of our payload had, you know, let's just say an 80% chance of succeeding and then we had about 20 things that had to go right and once you crunch those numbers we don't really have a good chance of of succeeding 100% so what ended up happening is that the antennas that we needed for a GPS tracker didn't come in on time so we switched off that setting and we went completely to manual in the past there have been rockets that have failed to launch properly, as well as parachutes that have failed to deploy. So in the grand scheme of things, I think that we did a pretty good job. So that was a little bit about what I've been doing this summer. 
and this fall I'll be studying abroad in Denmark at Danish Technical University, also known as DTU, and we'll be vlogging about it, so stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.